Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Monica for those of you that are new here and today we are going to be doing a water bath canning recipe. So for those of you that are new to canning and haven't quite gotten into the pressure canning yet, this is an excellent recipe. Uh, we're going to be doing a savory sweet onion jam. It has the sweet, it has the tang of some balsamic vinegar and it is just packed full of flavor. You can use this in anything. It is so good. Um, we will be using this canning book today. Um, now, the recipe that I am doing is not word for word what is in here, but we are using it as a very good guideline to make sure we get our acids and stuff right so that it is safe to can. Um, but I also wanted to tell you that this recipe is going to be the recipe that I use for my collaboration with uh, Prepper Potpourri and the August Jamboree. So Four Jars Lids is sponsoring everyone's videos by giving us each two $50 gift cards that we can then give to our subscribers. So um, I'll leave the link to all the people in the collaboration and you guys can go check out their channels and comment on their videos. And then on September 1st, Prepper Potpourri will be drawing from the comments of all the videos for $100 Visa gift card. So be watching for August 19th because that is when my video comes out and then you guys can see how, well, one of the ways that I use the sweet onion jam, but you could totally just eat it out of the jar. No judgment here. So let's get started. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do is caramelize your onions. It is key. So I have, this is a 12 quart stock pot and you can see how full it is. It's six pounds of onions and we're just going to put this on a medium medium low heat stirring occasionally for about an hour until everything is nice and caramelized okay so this is what you want it all to look like once it caramelizes and you can see how much it reduced down because it was way up here and this was six pounds of onions and so now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients, let it simmer for about 15-20 minutes, and then it's ready to can up. The longest part of the process is caramelizing, but I'm telling you, you need to do it because it's just not the same if you don't caramelize it. So, we're going to add one and a half cups of maple syrup. And this isn't Aunt Jemima. <laughs> this is actual maple syrup. So there's one cup. And there's the half. And next you want to add two and a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. And again, it's something that you need. Okay, now that we've added our balsamic vinegar, we're going to go ahead and add our brown sugar. So you want to add two and a half cups of packed dark brown sugar. Now I'm going to actually just be making mine. Um, I don't have any made. Okay, so sugar molasses get all this mixed in I have four bay leaves that we're gonna throw in and we're just gonna let them simmer with it and then we'll remove them before we go to can okay and next we're gonna add some salt you want about four teaspoons of salt in this for this amount and it's really just gonna help balance out that sweet oh and it already smells so good and then my last ingredient is a little bit of red pepper flakes. We aren't doing enough to make it spicy, although you could. We're just doing it as like a background note. And again, it just helps bring that sweetness and savory together. Oh, yeah. So now this is going to simmer for about 15, 20 minutes. We're just going to let it kind of thicken up a little bit. And then we get our jars ready. This is going to go in half pints, which is the perfect size to use for recipes or to have with appetizers. Um, I'm always using a half pint worth and then I don't have to worry about putting it in the fridge and then forgetting about it in the fridge. Although <laughs> it's really hard to forget about this good stuff. Um, you could add pectin. Um, the recipe that I'm going off of does use pectin, but I don't feel like I need it. Um, I've never canned it with pectin. It um, 
the sugars that we already put in it help kind of thicken it up. Plus, whenever I'm using it, I'm either putting it inside a recipe or I'm using it as a glaze or I'm using it on top of um, like cream cheese as a snack. So it's always more like a sauce or a liquid ingredient. Although, if you wanted it thicker, once you opened the jar, you could just simmer it until it thickened down into a thicker consistency. Just reduce it down a little bit. So, I'll bring you back in about 20 minutes. Okay, so I have my water bath canner heating up. This has gone for more like 30 minutes. It's reduced down a little bit. Everything's married. So, we are ready to taste it and then get this canned up. Mm. It's so good. You get the sweet, the savory, the little bit of background heat. This stuff is fantastic. Once you make it, you're never going to not want to have it on your shelf. Now you want a quarter inch of headspace. And then these are going to go in a water bath canner for 15 minutes. And you need to check your altitude to make sure you don't need to add minutes to it. And also, we're not canning the bay leaves. We're going to just pick those out as we're filling up our jars. Wipe your rim. Lid. Fingertip tight. And then into the canner it waits until everything else is done. But it, oh, I love this stuff. All right, so here is the finished product. They turned out beautiful. I ended up getting these seven and then this much left um, that I'm just going to keep in the fridge and use here in the next couple days. But you can see how it's gelled. And this wasn't even processed. This was just put in the refrigerator for a while. So that's why I don't use any pectin. There's just, there's no need for it. And this stuff, I'm telling you, once you try it, you're going to be addicted. I've had people that look at me like I'm crazy when I say that I make sweet onion jam, but then they taste something that I use it in and they're like, oh my goodness, what did you do different? Sweet onion jam, guys. It's all about the sweet onion jam. But Make sure if you are not subscribed to go ahead and subscribe so that you do not miss my video on the 19th that is part of the Prepper Potpourri August Jamboree and Four Jars um, is part of this collaboration, the Four Jar Lids, which I have all that info down below. You can win one of two $50 gift cards on that video that I'll be doing on the 19th. And I'll also leave the links to the other people that are in the collab down in the description box because you could also potentially win from their channel videos as well. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you try this out for yourself and let me know if you do because you will not regret it. I'm going to continue on with my canning escapades today. I'm doing pickles and probably more sweet onion jam and I will see you all on my next video. Thanks for watching.